This is the Addo X model 341. This particular version has a carriage on the back that allows you to feed in a paper roll or sheets of paper. The most standard version of this machine only has a, a paper roll without a carriage. Uh, these machines were made from around 1950s onwards, this model, but uh, Addo itself started in 1918, at first making sort of uh, simple adding machines like the uh, Leica Computator, like a rapid computer, so it had a, a stylus and sliders that you had to set. But in 1926 they made their first adding machine, which had a full keyboard, in 1937 they first made a 10 key version of that and they called that the Addo X, the X presumably being the Roman numeral for 10 as it has a 10 key keyboard. And then they followed that up with uh, this version, the Series 40 and this is model 341. On, uh, on this model, the 341, the 1 uh, stands for the number of uh, digits it has in the input. It has uh, 10 digits of input or 11 digits in the, uh, in the main register. So let's have a go. You can enter a number and as you enter it this little uh, indicator moves to the left. There's a, a top missing here. It should have a sort of a, an arrow pointing at these dots. This also is used to clear the input. You can just slide it to the right if you want to clear it. So if you enter a number you can then press the plus button to add it to the main register. And that prints it out in black. And you can also subtract of course with this minus button. I've subtracted rather a large number so that the total is now negative and that is indicated in this small window here. There's a small uh, negative sign showing here. But let me add something larger and then the indicator disappears again. So uh, yeah, the current total is positive. You can press the subtotal button that prints the uh, subtotal in red. This machine uses red for the totals and subtotals and all the individual numbers, positive and negative, are in, in black. So it prints a subtotal with a kind of a, a square symbol at the end to indicate it, that it is a subtotal. And uh, yeah, if you add something more and press the totals button it prints the total again in red but with an asterisk. Printing a total means that the register is cleared afterwards, so now you can start a new edition. By the way, if you uh, have a, a negative total or subtotal, the uh, the uh, it, the uh, symbol at the end is still uh, a square or uh, an asterisk, but it also prints a little C to indicate its credit, so that it's negative. There we go. Yeah, this moved out of position a little bit. There we go. Um, the... Uh, the keyboard here is symmetrical. They made a big deal out of that. That uh, yeah, that all the buttons were arranged symmetrically, and uh, that was supposedly supposedly uh, so that uh, you could use it both uh, with your left hand or your right hand. Uh, these buttons here are for repeated addition or repeated subtraction and those allow, essentially allow you to do uh, uh, multiplications easily. Unfortunately this machine has a, 
uh, yeah, has a flaw. It's not working quite properly. I think one of the pieces is stuck or slightly out of alignment. Uh, so it, when you hold this button down, unfortunately it clears the input after the first repetition. It shouldn't do that. It, it should have just added what I entered three times in this case. But yeah, it's cleared the input first, so it's added that number once and then added zero twice. But it shouldn't have done that. Uh, this button would uh, does the same, but it subtracts it. As, uh, as long as you hold it down, it repeatedly subtracts the number that you've entered. Well, it should if it didn't clear it, clear it first. Uh, this small lever here is the so-called stepomatic. In this down position, it does nothing, but in this upper position, what happens is when you release this button, so after you've done a repeated addition, it automatically enters a zero, so shifting the input to the left. That means that you can do multiplications more easily. So you could do uh, enter a number, hold this down for two cycles, and it would automatically shift this to the left so that you can then add it, add it again in the tens position. So if you then uh, held it down for three cycles, you would have multiplied it by 32. Again, it shouldn't be clearing this, uh, but uh, yeah, never mind. There's also this button, the only non-symmetrically arranged button, and that is the non-add button. Uh, pressing this will print the input, uh, but not affect the contents of the register. So this machine has this uh, carriage at the top. Uh, it allows you to have uh, this uh, roll of paper. It, you can uh, tear it off. And uh, on this, uh, this ridge here, the, um, the carriage has uh, tab positions that you can set. Uh, they, those can be set with little um, metal bits at the, at the back that you can uh, put at different positions. Uh, this uh, lever uh, sets the uh, line, uh, yeah, the, the line shift. So normally it's on one, so, and this does it. Uh, if you put it on two, it does double spacing. And if you put it on zero, it doesn't move the paper forward at all. And uh, on this side, yeah, this lever lifts the uh, this window, so you can more easily load the paper. And this. Uh, uh, this lever that uh, allows you to uh, shift the paper, it, it uh, lifts off these rollers so that you can just pull the paper into position. I also have a second machine which is over here. That is the model 351, not the 341, so this is the series uh, 50. It's basically an identical machine, but in a new, yeah, a new case and a slightly improved mechanism, but the functionality ex is exactly the same. The non-add button is still up here. They've now put a button here to uh, make it symmetrical again. This is uh, for opening the case up so that you can have access to the uh, printer ribbon and the paper. On, uh, on this machine, you can simply lift up this, this bit to get to the uh, ink ribbon. The cord that came with this, uh, this machine was unfortunately very uh, degraded. It's uh, utterly unsafe, of course. 
but uh, the uh, plug that is used is a fairly standard one. It used to be a sort of a universal standard for all kinds of electrical equipment. I have a, a toaster that uses this same plug. So you can still uh, get these and uh, yeah, so I could make a replacement uh, power cord for this machine. Uh, this, uh, this second machine, it uses uh, a different kind of uh, cord with a different plug. It has these uh, diagonal uh, pins at the end. And uh, yeah, that's a typical uh, uh, propriety plug that's used by Facet. In uh, 1966, the Addo company was bought by Facet. So I think that's when they changed the, uh, the electrical uh, connections there. So this was the uh, Addo X uh, model 341. Thank you for watching.